In chemistry, you're often asked to make up a standard solution. So today I'm going to show you how to make up a standard solution of sodium carbonate anhydrous. So as you can see from the warning, it's irritant to the eyes. And so before I start, I'm just going to put on a pair of safety goggles and also a pair of gloves just for general good practice. So this is anhydrous, which means that the salt solution itself doesn't actually contain any water molecule. However, over time, the powder can absorb water from the atmosphere. And so before you make up any standard solution, you need to weigh some of it out into an evaporating dish and leave it in an oven. This will completely dry the salt solution. Once dry, you can put it inside a desiccator. So I'll just lift out my salt solution. And the first vessel I'm going to measure into is the small beaker here. So if I put that on the scales and I tear it. So I'm going to want, I want to measure somewhere between the 1.2 and 1.4 grams of sodium carbonate. Point two exactly. Let's leave that over to the side. But each piece of apparatus has a slight difference in its weight. So I've recorded that in my small beaker, 1.20 grams. I'm now going to lift, put that to the side and lift this larger beaker and put it on. And again, I'm going to tear it. and scrape all of my sodium carbonate solution in. I'll put my sodium carbonate powder into the beaker. And again, it's coming up at 1.20 grams. If there is a discrepancy in this, just take the average between the two. So I'm gonna use the big beaker to start making up my solution. So firstly, I'm going to make up a total of 250 milliliters of the solution. So I'm going to add a good proportion of the water just to start the mixing. I'm going to add 150 milliliters in total. So to do this, I'm just going to use the line on the beaker. But please be very cautious because the lines on the beaker are never very accurate. So while this is for a rough measurement, I can use it. You should never ever use a beaker to measure out a volume. You're better off using a measuring cylinder, which is very, which is fairly accurate. And then, but most accurate of all is either your um, glass pipettes or your volumetric flask. So, just gonna get down and add about 150 milliliters. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit less, but you're better to have a little bit less and a bit more. And now I use my glass rod to mix it. You want to get it completely in solution. It's far easier to mix the salt inside a beaker than inside a volumetric glass. This can take a little So I can't while. see any remaining salt, so I'm happy that it's all dissolved now. But before I put my glass rod down, this could have some of my sodium carbonate solution. So I'm just going to give it a quick rinse with the eye water into my beaker. So I'm happy that's got off my sodium carbonate. And I'm going to take my volumetric flask and put a funnel. Give it a little swirl with your hand to mix it and just gradually pour it into your volumetric flask. Now again, there could be some of the sodium carbonate solution in my beaker. So I'm just going to add just a tiny bit of water and go around the edge of the beaker. Give it a swirl with my hand and pour that into my volumetric glass. And finally, I'll just give a little swirl, rinse around the sides of the glass or funnel. And now I'm happy that that's got as much of my sodium carbonate solution 
into the volumetric class as I can. So finally, I'm going to fill this up with water to the darker mark. I'm going to start filling quite fast. And once I get closer, I find control is easier with a small plastic pet than with the wash bottles. So I've got sort of eye level where I can see one side of this line touches the other. And I'm just going to slowly add. The aim is to get it so that the bottom end sort of U-shaped meniscus just touches the top of this line. And there we go. I put on my lid, give it a shake, and I've just made up a standard solution with 1.2 grams of sodium carbonate and 250 mils of water. The next step is to standardize this against a known solution to check the accuracy of my standard solution and calculate its true concentration. This will be done in another video.